He looked tanned and relaxed after his fortnight away. Hello, how are you? Ed Miliband was ready to meet potential voters and try to silence some critics. He was not prepared for this. Sorry. Careful, careful. The egg man was bundled away. The Labour leader shrugged it off. He was egged by a man who said he would only vote for his brother, but Ed Miliband seems to have taken it on the chin, taken his jacket off and is trying to get his message across. It's not the first time it's happened to me, I'm sure it's not the last. I'm always looking for new ways to connect with uh, uh, voters, but it's been very good to go and meet people today and talk about, I think, the biggest issue facing the country, which is the cost of living crisis facing so many families. And you know, while the government is saying that the economy uh, is fixed, uh, so many people are finding themselves out of pocket. Six pepper for a pound, four bunch of spring on your one pound. But there. the truth is the coalition have had things to shout about this summer. Inflation fell last month, there's been an upturn in the housing market and job figures out today show unemployment is down. Meanwhile, a survey found 40% of voters had confidence in George Osborne and David Cameron's ability to handle the economy compared to 24% for Ed Balls and Ed Miliband. Then there are the calls from even within the Labour ranks to bring back the grown-ups, like Peter Mandelson, Alan Johnson and Alistair Darling. Even supporters are concerned of a lack of direction. We need to demonstrate to people that we have got the message on the economy, that we have the message in terms of where we want to take Britain, um, and that the Britain that we envisage is what they want to, they want to vote for. Today he insisted Labour have the answers on rail fares, energy prices and a fair tax system. Egging aside, he was on friendly turf here. He's got a harder fight to come. Tessa Chapman, 5 News.